Shalom Yiladim! It's time to learn the Parsha. The Parsha of the week is Tav, Tav, Tav. The Parsha of the week is Tav, 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 Tav. The Parsha of the week is Tav, Tav, Tav. The Parsha of the week is Tav, 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 Tav. Do you hear a word that sounds familiar to you? The word tzav comes from a word we use all the time. That word is mitzvah. Tzav comes from the word mitzvah. Hashem is commanding Moshe to pay very close attention because now Hashem is continuing to give all the instructions to Moshe that Moshe is going to have to give to Aaron and all the Kohanim. Last week, we started off with Korbanot. Do you remember, Yiladim, what Korbanot are? Those are presents to Hashem. And why are they called Korbanot? Because when we bring a Korban, we long to be closer to Hashem. Do you see this man? He is so very happy he's able to bring a korban. A korban brings us closer from the word karov, to become close, close to Hashem. We don't want to be far away from Hashem. We want to be close to Hashem. Every time we bring a korban, it brings us closer. Last week we talked about a korban we brought when we made a mistake. A korban we brought when we were feeling great and wanted to share. And a korban that we wanted to give just to Hashem. This week, we're going to learn about new korbanot and new instructions that Moshe had to listen to so he could teach Aaron and the Kohanim. Every day when the Kohen came to the Beit HaMidash, there were two korbanot that the Kohen brought special for Klal Yisrael. That korban was called the Ola Hatamid. It was always given. It was always brought in the morning and in the evening. Do you see on this picture, Yiladim? There is a sun for the korban that we brought in the morning and a sun going down for the korban that we brought at night. This korban the Kohen brought on behalf of Klal Yisrael, on behalf of all the Jewish people. The korban was given every single day, except for Shabbos and Yom Tov. On Shabbos and Yom Tov, we brought more korbanot, special for the Yom Tov. And that's in this picture, Yelidim. Do you see all the different circles? We have the korbanot that we brought every day. The korbanot that we brought on a Yom Tov. For example, on Yom Kippur. Or on Sukkot. Or on Pesach, Shavuot, Shabbat, Rosh Chodesh, and every day. Those were korbanot that the Kohen brought and he davened for all of Klal Yisrael when he brought those korbanot. There's one more korban that we were able to bring when something special happened to us. This korban was called the korban Toda. Do you know what Toda means? You say it all the time. Toda. Thank you. Thank you, Mommy, for giving us breakfast. Toda to your Mora for being so nice. Toda to Hashem for giving us life every single day. We say Moda Ani. That comes from the word Toda. Thank you. Thank you, Hashem, that we can see and that we can hear and that we can taste and we can touch. Well, there are four people 
that when something very serious happens to them and they are in a difficult situation, they are going to remember that it was Hashem that took us out that, of that difficult situation. It was Hashem who saved them. And when they came out of those difficult times, they brought a special korban toda, a thank you korban. What happened to those people? What went wrong? Well, one person, he was caught in the middle of the desert and didn't know how to get home. In the desert, there's no signs where to turn. And so when a person got lost in a desert, it could have been very serious. It could be even that he couldn't find his way home. But when he did, he knew that it was Hashem that helped him get home. So a person who passed through a desert, he needs to bring a korban toda. Next. What happens if a person is traveling in the sea? Well, in the sea, are there traffic signs where to go? No. And if a person lost all his maps and didn't know where to go when he was traveling in the ocean or in the sea, that could be really dangerous. A person who was saved knew that he was saved by Hashem. So when he came back from that journey, he would bring a korban toda. Thank you, Hashem, for saving me. I was able to come home. Another person who would bring a korban toda was a person who was very, very sick. When we are very, very sick, sometimes medicines don't help. Sometimes nothing helps except for dominating to Hashem. When a person gets well after being sick, this is a time to say thank you. So the Torah tells us a person who gets well comes to the Beit HaMikdash and brings a korban, what's it called? Toda. Thank you, Hashem, for making me well. The last person who needs to bring a korban toda is a person who was put into jail and it wasn't his fault. And the only one who could save him and take him out of jail is Hashem. If Hashem arranged for this man to come out of jail, he knows who to thank. He thanks Hashem. He comes and he brings a korban. What is that korban called? A korban toda. Let's review Yiladim. Look at my picture. This is a person who is in the desert, so very hot. He wants so badly to come home. Ah, Baruch Hashem. Hashem saved him. All his family is really, really happy to see him. Here is a man who is stranded on the ocean, on the sea. He has no maps. He has no flashlight. He has no sparks to throw up in the sky. And who helps him? Who saves him get back on land? Hashem. And he says, thank you. And he brings a korban toda. Here is a man who is so very sad. He is in jail. But when he gets free, he knows who to thank. He thanks Hashem. Here is a man who is very, very sick. When you're sick in bed and you feel awful, you know who to thank when you feel well again. You thank Hashem. All of these people, the Torah tells us, must bring a korban toda. Thank you, Hashem, for taking us out of these four terrible dangers. When we continue, we'll learn more about the Parshah.